Nature is one of our most powerful allies in helping reduce and store carbon emissions. Our coastal marshlands play a vital role in that process. Yeah, but those marshlands are being threatened by erosion. A Houston attorney says he's found a way to protect these delicate areas. KPRC 2's Robert Arnold shows us the plans for a living shoreline supported by carbon credits. This is where the economy is headed. And it's a new economy for agriculture in Texas, for coastal landowners. It's a massive goal. It's part of a new economy of carbon as well as protection of the Texas coast. To create a thousand mile long living shoreline stretching from Orange County to Cameron County. To sustain coastal fisheries, to sustain coastal birds, to sustain all of those things that we as people really enjoy. To Houston environmental attorney Jim Blackburn, it's also a way industry and nature can partner in the fight to reduce carbon dioxide emissions. We want to give companies the opportunity to help reduce their carbon footprint by contributing by buying, if you will, a mile, two miles, ten miles of this living shoreline. The plan is to protect the Texas coast from erosion and sea level rise, which is eating away vital marshlands. The marshes are the key to the fisheries of the Texas coast. Uh, shrimp, blue crabs, flounder all use the marsh as a nursery. These coastal habitats also naturally siphon tons of carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere and store it in the soil. This is commonly called carbon capture. Environmental scientists believe rising carbon dioxide emissions contribute to global warming. Every acre of marsh has about 400 tons of carbon that's been deposited in the soil. The idea is to deposit rocks or bricks near the coastline, then seed the reefs with oyster spat, Oyster reefs then grow and anchor the structures to the seabed, protecting the shoreline from getting chewed away by wind, waves, and rising sea levels. Lalise Mason runs Scenic Galveston Incorporated and is also with Texas Coastal Exchange, both dedicated to preserving the Texas coast. We are protecting an existing marsh shoreline. Mason already spearheaded a project to protect Virginia Point, which is next to the Galveston Causeway. Its first and primary function was to protect this undisturbed coastal prairie peninsula. Stone reefs were constructed to protect the shoreline from erosion. Marsh grass was then planted to help keep the carbon stored in the soil from being released. And it develops biomass under the ground, it develops a huge root mass. That biomass in the soil is carbon. That's soil carbon, that's what it is. The entire area is thriving with fish, fowl, and rapidly thickening lines of marsh grass. We try and develop, when we look at a living shoreline, a solution that mimics a natural system. Chris Levitz is the Gulf Coast manager for AECOM and helped design the system now protecting Virginia Point. He and Mason are taking the lessons learned here to work with Blackburn on designing different prototypes that will eventually make up the living shoreline. Do this, but do it almost like on a you know, a more repeatable, smaller scale. The idea is getting buy-in from one of the largest energy companies in the world. The Valero Energy Corporation is funding the study needed to create a system where industry can help fund construction of the living shoreline in exchange for carbon credits. In the past, we've seen the market and environmental protection kind of being at odds. Today, we're going to see them working together and moving together. Blackburn says the design phase of the project should be complete by the end of this year, and he hopes to see construction begin on segments of the shoreline next year with the goal of having the entire project complete in five to six years. If you'd like to get a better look at the plans for the living shoreline, we have several documents for you on click2houston.com. Robert Arnold, KPRC 2 News.